Yo guys, so before we get into this video, I just want to talk to you about foottrading.co.uk. This is a website set up by myself and Dan, aka V273. We brought together our market knowledge into one place to help you guys trade on FIFA. There are free trading guides on here, which are literally them ones there. They teach you how to trade with special cards, icons, and silver cards. All of those are massively profitable methods on this game. We've also got paid for areas, which is £10 a month. That gets access to spreadsheets for special cards, for icons and for silvers, with the maximum buy prices and the minimum sell prices on them. You cannot lose coins. They are tried and tested, um, li literally in every market condition, and they work very, very well. We have people who have made 3.5 million coins in a week. Even people who do it once a week are making sort of five, 600k from the trading. It is very, very good. And for £15, you get access to a live deals area, which is where we're going to be putting all the live filters we come up with. As you guys have seen in the 0 to 2 million series, I'm pretty good at finding sniping filters and stuff like that. We're going to start putting those into that live filters area for you guys to make as many coins as possible. That is £15 a month for those, and we update that as often as we possibly can. You also get access to our tool, the ChemStyle Calculator, which was built. Essentially, let's say, for example, you buy a card that's not on the spreadsheet, because some aren't on the spreadsheet, we are adding lows all the time, but there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of ChemStyle uh, cards on this account. But let's say, for example, you buy a card for £25,000. Uh, 25000 not 25 coins. And you say, Hunter... I'm not gonna lie, Calculate, man. it will tell you the minimum you should be selling that card for, and it's it's a really invaluable tool, it's absolutely brilliant. But yeah, like I say, £10 a month for tier 1, £15 a month for tier 2, it is a really brilliant, brilliant website. If you want to get involved, click the link down below, come over to uh, come over to foottrain.co.uk, check it out and see what you think. But for now, let's get into this video. Yo, what is up guys, welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking the like button, all that good stuff. Clicking the like button obviously helps your videos to get recommended. Uh, a lot easier so if you have time to do it please do click it it takes two seconds as always if you want to watch me do this stuff live click the link down below come over to twitch and make sure you check out foottrading.co.uk massive new updates have gone live on that website to give you guys even more value from it so make sure you check it out have a little look um yeah you guys are loving it so thank you for supporting the content but most of all i hope you're making lots of coins from it but this is episode number six now i believe of the zero to two million series now in yesterday's episode you guys saw me sort of buying into cards and flipping them and, and doing that. Today's episode initially is going to be me looking at selling the silver cards that we've got and sort of coming back to you as and when we're selling them to see the coin total increasing. Um, already, the market is massively up. I'm going to give you a little show that in a minute. Uh, and then obviously, foot birthday technically ended on Friday, but obviously they put the, the players into packs until today. So it's going to be a sort of iffy one as to what we can trade with at 6pm in terms of specifically... There's not going to be, I don't think, a daily SBC or anything like that to work with because they'll probably calm it down for a little bit now while they work out what the next promo is going to be. Now, there's rumours we're getting um, team of the knockout stage sort of flashback. Whether or not we get that or not is another matter. I'm not so sure. There's also rumours that we are going to get team of the season soon. Now, I don't know how team of the season is going to work because obviously football hasn't been on. So how are you going to team the season with still, I think, nearly a quarter of the season left to play? I personally think it doesn't come as early as it would do normally. Normally, it's not very far away at all. I think it probably gets extended a little bit, but we'll see either ways. But um, as my controller nearly drops. Um, but yeah, essentially, we're going to be selling these. The thing is, at six o'clock, there's, there's still stuff I can trade with on this game. And this is why you guys saw yesterday in the video, essentially, of my silvers that I traded with, the gold filters that I traded with, and obviously, you saw a special card that I bought, but... There are loads of other special cards in the game. I can trade with most cards on this game. Because I have a relative knowledge of all of them, I also have a relative knowledge I can talk to you guys all the times about fluctuations. Now, any special cards I buy into today, tomorrow, day after, etc., etc., I'm chill. Because no matter what happens, into weekend league, they will rise. The whole market comes up into weekend league. So right now, as long as I'm buying at the right price, even if I don't sell immediately, I will see those profits back by the end of the week at the very latest. But what I want to do this weekend is put myself in the best situation for next weekend league in terms of trading. So I'll be picking up squad fitnesses while they're extremely low. You guys know it's a method that I do every single week without fail. Looking to pick up maybe 100 to 200 of those throughout the week for ideally 600 coins and below. Now the reason we do that, I've shown you it before, is because you can lazy sell them. As you saw, I sold all of mine on this account and my main account. You can lazy sell them for 12 to 1400 coins in weekend league. I'd say normally 12, 13 is like a guaranteed sell, but there are ones that I do sell for 1,400. Probably going to be trying to pick up some Shadows and Hunters. I know they drop down during the week, climb during the weekend league, uh, as, along with trading with specials and icons and stuff like that. But we'll have a look at the silver cards we picked up yesterday. Now, I think it's just over 50. It says 50. It's just over 50, however. Now, I showed you some of the good deals yesterday, but some of the ones that I, I'm, I'm more interested in showing you are the ones that I bought on mass. So 
If you remember yesterday of ARP, now this one here we picked up for 1,400, we picked one up for 700 coins. He's already back up above 3,000 coins again. Um, so I'm, I'm going to list them up for 3,000 is, is, is the plan. And I'm going to list, I, I, there's a hard and fast rule with silvers, list one of each card at a time. Now Kenny we picked up for 800 coins, I don't think he's in a huge rise so far. But I know he is definitely up um, compared to where he was yesterday. 1-3 there. So he's at 1-3 at the minimum. So, I mean, you might go where it's only 400 quid profit after tax, but that's 50% back of my, my investment. There aren't many methods in this game that can give you that. So I can list him up for 1,200, get him sold. But I will be listing one up at a time. I'm not going to show you all of them right now. But I will be listing one of these cards up at a time, get him sold, list another one. Get him sold, list another one. And that way I'm keeping an eye on what the market's doing. So if the market's going up or down. But it also means that I'm not flooding the market with these cards which means I just get undercut and it brings the market down. When you're selling silvers, only list one at a time. But I'm going to go away and do that. I'm going to come back to you as and when we're selling like sort of some of them. So you can see the coin total rise, hopefully by six. We're pushing on to 450, 500k, quarter of the way to our target. And then um, we'll start investing at six and you'll see what I've done. But for now, I'll be right. All right, guys. So we've been selling the silvers all day. We're now at 504,000 coins. Uh, I said yesterday we were selling into bounce back. I knew it would bounce back quickly. It was only one pack, but everyone in the game did it. So you'll see a rush of cars onto the market. Everyone undercuts. And you then go and buy at that point and you obviously make quite a big profit from it. Uh, all those ops I told you sold for 3k, we sold them all for 3k, one by one, we didn't list them all at the same time. We've like, we had to like adjust prices as the day's gone on, like DeMarco sold for a lot earlier on, Lowe's came on, they sold for less. But because I bought so low on some of these cards, it doesn't, really doesn't matter. Some of them we made two, three thousand coins on, some we made three, four hundred coins on. Uh, but really solid profits, we've still got a few left to sell. This portal, for example, we paid four thousand for. I listed them at five five, it didn't sell because a few came on, so I might... Unless, it's like, unless I can get 5k for him, which I can. I'll, get, I'll try and get 5k for him, and then we'll sell him. Um, but you do have to, when you're selling your silvers, you have to move with the market. Don't be that guy that's like, well, I saw them for 3k, so I'm just going to keep releasing them for 3k. Move with the market if you want to get them sold. But if you want to hold silvers, you can hold them. They will go up in price as the week goes on. With less supply, they stay, they climb, they rise. Um, it's just about patience. All, all trading is about patience. If you've got the patience, you're fine. Um, but always look for that. Always look for the supply. You can see... Plenty of teams on the screen right now that you guys can be looking at. Um, but always look for supply. Every single time that 6pm hits, look for the content, look for what's come out, see what's come out. And if you see a daily pack SPC that has silvers in it, it will bring the price of silvers down. Marking matchups brings the price of silvers down. We might potentially tomorrow, being, be, well, when you guys will see it, it's going to be today for you guys. You see our marking matchups tonight, uh, there's a potential that it's going to hit. If that hits, we get more silver supply, brings the market down again. So make sure you're on the lookout for these things because it's, an, it's the easiest way to make coins in terms of like a guaranteed profit method. You're not going to lose coins on because eventually they will go up in price. So keep an eye on that. But now it is sort of middle of the afternoon now. I've been recording the League SBC video, which you guys, if you haven't seen that League SBC video yet from yesterday, go and watch it. We packed one of the best mid icons on the pack you could possibly ever pack. So go and check that out. Um, but yeah, it's middle of the afternoon now. So market's a bit like meh at the moment so i'm gonna chill relax have, have an hour or two just for, for lunch and whatever and then we'll be back after 6 p.m with whatever content comes out i will see you guys then all right guys so we've been picking up deals and you guys know i don't hide mistakes now this isn't a, a massive mistake i'm probably gonna make a bit of profit maybe two three k profit on him but for an eighty thousand coin investment that's not good enough reason being i was talking to stream at the same time as this guy came up and i completely lost my trade of thought and i bought him at 83k now he sells for about 81 ish k Maybe a little bit higher sometimes, maybe a little bit lower. So, I, obviously, I don't really want to hold this guy for too long for a number of reasons because I've got only got 500k on the account, so I want to make sure my coins are being spent as best they can. Um, but, yeah, it's not a great deal. It's not a terrible deal. I'll make a bit of profit, but if I you I want to make more than that. But just make sure that with cars like this and with special car trading in general, it's better to let a good deal go than it is to pick up a bad deal. Again, that Theresa May Brexit thing, no Brexit, no, uh, what is it? A no deal Brexit is better than a bad Brexit. It's that exact same thing. So a no deal on these cards is better than a bad deal, okay? But I'll still make a profit on him, I think, but not, not too great. But these cards here were very, very nice. So Lodi is the first example. Now, he sells for 32k standard at the moment. And I picked him up for 32k of a shadow on him. Now, let's see if there's any more on the market. I always do this as well. I always flick through and just see. So there's one for 30k there. But he's the only one. So he's an anomaly, which is quite nice. There's a 31 there. Um, but we sell him. We should get maybe up towards 40k for him, which is quite nice. And Gale, now, you might think he's a low-rated card. Is he really worth anything? The same rules apply to these guys as apply to other cards. Now, first thing to note again with Gale is he's normally a striker. He's got position change at Cam. Adds a bit of value to him. Uh, it's not a brilliant card at all by any stretch of imagination. But he sells for about 13k. 
14k. We picked him up at 15, I think. Uh, 14k, so we picked him up for. And he should sell quite well overnight um, in terms of position change on him. Again, if I can get sort of 20, 21 for him, I'm relatively happy. He's got the value of the Cam and the Hunter. And Sanchez again, Cam card, not a massive position change from his centre mid card as it is. But again, they've got a shadow on him. He sells for 15k as standard. We picked him up for 15k with a shadow on him. 15.5 uh, with a shadow on him, which is nice. Now, a lot of you guys ask about what to sell these cards for. If you're a website subscriber, you don't need to worry. The website tells you the minimum to sell them for. However, I'm going to look to get like 22 for this guy. Um, is my aim to get 22 for Sanchez. Gale, I'm going to start by asking 21. I probably won't get 21 for him realistically. I'll probably get 19, 20, but we'll try and get 21 for him. Lodi, I'm going to ask straight 44 and see if we can get 40 for him. Um, I don't see why not on that one over the course of the week. He should go up. And then Mario's going to aim for 90 on him. It's not a massive profit on him whatsoever, but if we can get 90k, it relatively offsets the fact that it wasn't the best deal to pick up. But on the side of this and on top of this, um, there's a little Velasco there. I'm not too bothered about that. We've already sold a card. We've already sold that De Jong that I picked up. He's already gone for 68, which is decent. Uh, other cards here said Indinia hasn't sold. And again, you guys ask this question all the time. What do I do with these cards when they haven't sold? Blah, 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 blah. Just chill. Literally, we list them again. Now, I might not get 64k for him, but while I'm on the game, I'm going to keep trying to get that. Overnight, I'm going to keep trying to get that. For 24 hours, I will just list them and hope to get 24, to get 64, 65k for this guy. If I don't get that, it's not the end of the world. But into weekend league, I probably will get that. Ideally, I sell him before that because it's more profit I can put back into the club. But yeah, that's where we're at at the moment. I'm going to keep picking up these deals and come back to you once I've got some more. I will see you in a second. All right, guys. So next set of deals we picked up um, are... No, not bad, actually. We picked up some quite good ones. Um, let me go through now. Keep arming and erring. Here we go. We got there eventually. So next set of deals. Coutinho, he's selling for about 82, 83 at the moment. We've got him for 79. So again, we've got two, 3K in him, or 3 or 4K in him as standard. Plus the 100 with him. So we should be able to get 89 for him relatively easily. So we're going to go and list him up straight away. He's got a left forward on him. That can add value because obviously position change, but it's not exactly expensive position change. It doesn't matter too much. Saul, he's currently literally bang on, uh, I think it's 49 at the moment. So we list him up for 57, see if we can get 57 for him with a, with a shadow on him. He's one of those cards that does tend to be a little bit more... Uh, flooded with shadow cards, so it's one of those ones you've got to be mindful of. Uh, Nabry was a very, very nice deal. He's at 68 at the moment. We picked him up for 64, so we're going to list him up for hopefully 74 and should get a decent amount of profit from him, which is very, very solid. So list him up right now. And then Kai Havertz is bang on 27k, and he's still selling for, he's, he's selling for 27k, so we've got to 27. We're going to try and get 34 for him. Uh, it should be relatively easy over the course of today or tomorrow to get him. I'm going to keep looking and see if we can pick up any of the lower end deals. And if we can, I will be right back once we've got them done. I will see you. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got all these cards now listed up. They'll be selling tonight. The last two deals we picked up was this Martinez. We picked him up at 42. He's selling for 42. I'm aiming for 50 on him. I'll probably get 48, 49 for him most likely. And this Awa, we picked him up for 23. He's selling for 23 at the moment, 24. Over Hunter on him. Shadow on him, sorry. We should be able to pick up 30k now. Not, there's not massive profits in these cards. You're looking at 5 to 10k, roughly, right? But again, I, I hear this all the time that when the content is... There's no content on the game, people say they can't trade or don't know how to trade. There's always a way to make coins on this game. Special card trading like this is easy because once you start to learn prices, it's just a case of picking the players up and knowing the filters and doing that. That's all it is. It's realistically that simplistic. But the reason why I like special card trading... Number one, it's satisfying to look at with the different card types. It's cool. But more than anything is there's so little risk involved in it, especially when you buy earlier in the week, because you have numerous things. So if your website sub, obviously us guys give you, we give you the prices, so it doesn't matter. There's no risk there. But if you're not a website sub, you have Footbin there as a tool to give you a rough idea of the price. It gives you a rough idea on Footbin. So it tells you, right, Gamero is selling for 51k at the moment. So you know if you pick him up for 51k with a hunt on him, you're guaranteed profit. You will not lose coins on this card. You're guaranteed profit. And, and position changes. Again, if you pick up a striker with a cam card on him, you know where well, you've already got 5k in that plus whatever hunt or shadow you've got on him. Again, it's just, it's, it's, just, it's just guaranteed profit. But the main reason I like specials is because the profit gets bigger as the week goes on. If you don't sell cards tonight, if I don't sell these tonight, it's fine. It's not a, it's not a drama. Because getting up towards weekend league, the prices just keep going up and up and up. And so the Digne sat here right now that I might sell for 64 right now. Come weekend league, he might be 64 standard. I'm not saying that's a decline they all do or that he does, but... As an example, even if he gets to 60k, if I don't sell him right now, fine, I'd like to sell him now because it means I can reinvest those coins elsewhere. But if I don't reinvest those coins right now, I know that by weekend league, he'll get to 70k and I'll sell him then anyway. And that's why I really, really, really like special card trading as, as a method, full stop. But you can always be flipping silvers. Again, I've told you guys enough about silvers before. Always be flipping silvers. You can always be buying special cards. 
and th th it's just massively profitable and it's very little effort that's the other thing about special cards if you've got that three four five hundred k in your account it's less effort than any other method really other than maybe icons but you need a lot more coins for icons it's very chill it's very relaxed you literally buy those cards list them for i listen for an hour or two while i'm on the game and if i come off the game i then just list them for 12 hours overnight and it's done it's that easy i'm just lifting there and they're all sorted and that's, that's, that's just such a good good way to trade with specials. But trust me, when you first start doing specials, you will miss out on more deals than you'll pick up. You will make mistakes, you will make errors. That is normal, that is okay. That's just how it works. These, these are, this is essentially just the way the cookie crumbles. But the more you do it, the more you learn prices. So I can't stress that enough. However, there are other ways to be picking up, like making coins right now. And it's, these are sort of long game methods. And the main method that I've, I've been using today, it's going to be hard to pick them up right now because I've told my whole chat about it. But squad fitnesses. So now right now, they are 700 coins. Do I want to be buying them at 700 coins? Not really. I know I can snipe them for lower than that. But 700 coins is still decent. The reason being, I told you this about this before. If you haven't ever seen this method before, it's important you know this. Squad fitnesses only really ever sell on the market for 900, 1,000 coins max. Okay, But lazy buyers pick them up for 1,300, 1,400 coins every single weekend legal without fail. The minimum you get for them is 1,200. And so it's a really simplistic way to double your investment. If you can pick them up at 600 coins, it's a really easy way to double your investment. Now, all you want to be doing is doing going down to buy now and then using compare price back out, all right? You compare price back out. Let's go to that refurb. Ideally, we've got 650. It'd be better. Because we've got any 650 at the moment? No, we've got 700 coins. People are not price fixing them up. So go to the end. I mean, you can buy all these at 700 coins and make profit out of them. But here, compare price back out. And you want to flick across... Like, so who is this? Like, one to 200, I missed it now because I'm too slow. But compare price back out, keep doing that. Now you can pick them up at 700 coins. I would advise 600, 650 and below. 700 is the absolute max that I would pay. Um, but you, I'd, I'd advise 650 and below. I want to get it to the point where there's one on the market so I can try and search it. There we go. There we go. Compare price back out. And if you get more than one come up, make sure you flick beyond the one that you're at. Again, I've gone up a high on that one. Let's go low again. We'll flick again. Couldn't be placed. Like I've, I've just shown this on, on stream, so everyone is on it like mad. Everyone is literally right on it right now, so that's why it's going to be a struggle. This controller is definitely broken, though. I've, I've not, I noticed this earlier on. Every time I, I flick it, it goes up. Like 1 for 650 there, though. Another 1 for 650. See, it fix up. Before I even get the A click on it, it's just slow to react. Didn't get that one. Try and get one more if we can. Then we'll come up to market. Hang on, let's try. Is another one going to come up? Right, so number 600, right? And now, if you sell these cards for 1,300 coins, you are doubling your investment. So if you put 30k into it, you're getting 60k pack. You put 50k into it, 100k pack. Put 100k into it, 200k pack. They are long to sell. I'm not going to lie to you. You list them up in batches of maybe 30 to 50 at a time. I mean, you could do a whole transfer part if you wanted to. And you'll sell maybe 5, 10, and you'll then have to relist and relist and relist. But again, it's doubling your investment. There, there are very little things on this game that will allow you to double your investment. This is one of those things. So I can't stress it enough. Even when there's no content in the game, make sure you're finding a way to make coins. If it's just flipping silvers, if it's just investing in a few silvers you think are too cheap, if it's special card trading, if it's literally picking these guys up, if it's picking up hunters, like as an example right now, let's send these to club. And what's great about this, the consumables, trading in those, they're just sitting in the club. They're not in the way. They're not, they're not really a problem. But let's look at like, um, if you look at consumables, let's go to uh, chemistry styles. Let's go to hunter. Now, they was, these were about 7k earlier on, but they've probably gone up a little bit from then. 7.3. For 7.3. Even if you compare price backing out on Hunters and trying to pick up a Hunter for cheap enough and try and get them at 6.5, 7, they rise into Weekend League every week. They get up by about 2k into Weekend League, especially if you get a promo on Fridays and people get new cards, they put Hunters on them. People always do it. So Hunters, Shadows, all that sort of stuff. Now, it's literally quite dead. It's 8 o'clock at night. There's not been many people doing this. But PS4, that's especially effective on um on, on sniper up consumables like that another one's position changes position modifiers center forward to cam is nigh on always extinct now is it extinct at the moment it's always extinct so if you want it to sit there if you really want to sit there sit there do that grind them out get one on the field if you're lucky you might get another one on we got 5k if you can if you if you're the guy that picks one of these guys these cards up for search of front, 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 what do you mean front, 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 front results i see nothing now you can pick them up at two three four k when they come up I can't stress it enough. It's, why does it just kick me off? It's another, it's another effective method you can you can get. Do I think this is the most effective compared to things like squad fitnesses? No, because they're, they're already at discount. They're already at more at the max price already. But it's still a way you can make coins. If you really want to try it, there's ways you can make coins on this game at all times. But I'm going to keep picking up squad fitnesses. That's going to be the plan. This is the end of the video. If you are new around here, please do subscribe down below. Click the like button. All that good stuff. 
It's massively appreciated. As always, check out foottraining.co.uk for all your trading needs, all your trading tips. Make sure you hit that up and click link down below. Come over to Twitch, watch me do this stuff live. But for now, lads, I'm out. Peace out. I will speak to you soon.